good morning myself dr n tamil selvi associate professor department of pharmaceutical analysis kmch college of pharmacy coimbatore today's topic is non aqueous titration the content of non aqueous titration includes introduction acid base reaction theory and role of solvent types of solvent detection of end point titrants used assay of weak bases and assay of weak acids introduction non aqueous titration are those in which titration of weakly acidic and basic substances are carried out using non aqueous solvents non aqueous titration can also be used for the titration of the substances which are not soluble in water it provides a solvent in which organic compounds are soluble non aqueous solvent are basically used for those acid or bases non aqueous solvents don't give sharp end point in titration which don't soluble in water the moisture content in non aqueous titration should not be more than 0.05 percentage no water to interfere with the titration which would give sharper influxion region to an understanding of non aqueous titration theories of acid base is important acid base reaction the theory is that water behaves as both a weak acid and a weak base thus in an aqueous environment it can compete effectively with very weak acids and bases with regard to proton donation and acceptance as shown below if the water acts as a base competes with acids example water with acid and amine with acids at the same time water acts as a acid it competes with base water with base alcohol with base theory and role of solvent the role of solvent in making their substance and a strongly weak acid and strongly weak base example hydrochloric acid in water is a strong acidic hydrochloric acid in water is weak acidic acetic acid in water is weakly acidic whereas acetic acid in ammonia is strongly acidic thus the acidic or basic character or depend on the use of appropriate solvent the non aqueous titration can be explained by using bronston lowry theory according to bronston lowry theory acid is a proton donor and base is a proton acceptor in non aqueous titration the titrant and the titrate the reaction takes place one is a proton donor another one is proton acceptor the reaction between weak acid versus strong base or weak base versus strong acid what is non aqueous titration solvent and its types the non aqueous solvent which are used in non aqueous titration are called the non aqueous solvent there are following types aprotic solvent protogenic solvent protophilic solvent amphiprotic solvent aprotic solvent aprotic solvent are most important solvent in the titration this solvent are chemically inert and they work as a catalyst this solvent are increase the rate of speed in reaction and also decrease the rate of speed in reaction during the chemical process or reaction it will depend on condition the most important examples of aprotic solvents are chloroform and benzene protogenic solvents these are acidic in nature they can donate the proton and they have enhanced the strength of weak bases examples hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid protophilic solvents these are basic in nature which possess a high affinity for proton examples liquid ammonia amines ketone leveling effect and differentiating effect first one leveling effect strong bases are leveling solvent for weak acids strong bases increases the strength of the weak acid 
the strong bases are leveling solvent the effect is called leveling effect differentiating effect weak bases are differentiating solvent for weak acid thereby the strength of weak acid is not increased the weak basic solvents are differentiating solvent the effect is called differentiating the last one it is amphiprotic solvent these are solvent they work as both protogenic and protophilic it means these solvents are acidic and basic in nature they are accept the proton and donate the proton depending upon the situation example water alcohol weak organic acids detection of end point in non aqueous titration visible indicators are formed to the most suitable for the detection of end point in non aqueous titration the important indicators used in non aqueous titrations are the first one crystal violet it is used in 0.5 percentage solution in glacial acetic acid it gives violet color in basic medium and yellowish green in acidic medium it is most widely used for the titration of pyridine with perchloric acid second one oracet blue b indicator it is prepared in 0.5 percentage in glacial acetic acid it gives blue color in basic medium while pink color in acidic medium tunoldin red indicator it is used in 0.1 percentage in methanol or ethanol methanol is most suitable it gives yellow color in basic medium while almost colorless in acidic medium titrants used in non aqueous titration for assay of weakly basic substance perchloric acid in acetic acid is a titrant perchloric acid in acetic acid is used for assay of amines amine salts amino acids and salts of acids for assay of weak acids the various titrants like potassium methoxide in toluene methanol sodium methoxide in toluene methanol lithium methoxide in toluene methanol and tetrabutyl ammonium hydroxide in acetonitrile pyridine the various weak acids like acid enol acidimetry in non aqueous titration acidimetry in non aqueous titration further divided into three heads first one titration of primary secondary tertiary amines titration of halogen acid salts of base the drugs like adrenaline albendazole amitriptyline visacodyl diazepam etc these all are the weakly basic substances the titrant used are 0.1 molar perchloric acid the solvents are glacial acetic acid the indicators are crystal violet or a set blue alkylimetry in non aqueous titration titration of weakly acidic substances like phenobarbitone ethosuximide acetazolamide hydrochlorothiazide allopurinol etc are assayed by non aqueous titration the titrant used for acidic substances are 0.1 molar potassium methoxide lithium methoxide sodium methoxide and tetrabutyl ammonium hydroxide the solvents are dimethyl formamide the indicators are quinoldin red example for weak bases it includes preparation of 0.1 molar perchloric acid sanitization of 0.1 molar perchloric acid choice of indicators for weak bases preparation of 0.1 molar perchloric acid mix 8.5 ml of perchloric acid in 900 ml of glacial acetic acid add 30 ml of acetic anhydride and make up to 1 liter with glacial acetic acid stand for 24 hours before use precaution acetic anhydride don't add directly to the perchloric acid initially perchloric acid is mixed with acetic acid then add acetic anhydride to prevent the formation of acetyl perchlorate finally make up to 1000 ml with glacial acetic acid acetic anhydride react with water in perchloric acid some traces in glacial acetic acid thereby making the resulting mixture practically anhydrous thus we have 
Acetic anhydride react with water to form acetic acid. Sanitization of 0.1 molar perchloric acid. Weigh 0.5 gram of potassium hydrogen phthalate. Add 25 ml of glacial acetic acid and titrate against 0.1 molar perchloric acid using crystal violet as indicator. The endpoint is blue to green or or as a blue indicator the endpoint is blue to pink. The reaction involved in sanitization of perchloric acid, potassium hydrogen phthalate react with perchloric acid to form phthalic acid and potassium chlorate. For assay of weakly acidic substance, the standard solutions or the titrants used are 0.1 molar tetrabutyl ammonium hydroxide in toluene methanol. Preparation of 0.1 normal tetrabutyl ammonium hydroxide. Weigh 40 gram of tetrabutyl ammonium iodide. Dissolve in 90 ml of methanol. Add 20 gram of silver oxide. Mix thoroughly for 1 hour. Centrifuge it. Test the superintendent liquid for the presence of iodide. If the test is positive, add 2 gram of silver oxide and shake for another 30 minutes. The set method may be repeated until the superintendent liquid is completely free from iodide. The mixture is filtered through sintered glass filter. Finally, rinse with 3 portions each 50 ml of tritoline. Washings may be added to the filtrate. Finally, volume is made up to 1 liter with dry. Sanitization of 0.1 normal tetrabutyl ammonium hydroxide. Weigh 60 mg of benzoic acid. Dissolve in 10 ml of dimethyl formamide. Add a drop of thymol blue indicator and a titrate against 0.1 normal tetrabutyl ammonium hydroxide. For assay of weak acid, the various titrants like 0.1 normal sodium methoxide, potassium methoxide, lithium methoxide and tetrabutyl ammonium hydroxide are used. Advantages of non-aqueous solvent over aqueous solvent. Organic acids and bases that are insoluble in water are soluble in non-aqueous solvent. Organic acid which is of comparable strength to water can be titrated easily in non-aqueous solvent. Bases also follow the same rules. A non-aqueous solvent may help two or more acids in a mixture. The individual acid can give separate endpoint in different solvent. By the proper choice of solvent or the indicator, the biological ingredients of a substance, whether acidic or basic, can be selectively titrated. Compared to all other titrometric methods, non-aqueous titration are simple and accurate. I hope this video lecture will be useful. Once again, I thank you.